Okay, in this section we're going to talk about limits. So first, let's just talk about the idea of a limit and then in future videos we'll take a look at some examples. So, starting with this function here and let's suppose that we want to find y of 2. So we're going to put a 2 in for x. Now if we do that, we're going to get a 0 on the bottom so at 2 itself it's going to be considered undefined. However, what if we want to see what's happening when we get very, very close to this value of 2? This is what this table here is showing us. Notice that I'm getting progressively closer to 2 from each direction. So this is slightly less than 2, this is slightly more than 2, and here's the corresponding y values. So we can see that as we get closer and closer to 2, we have more decimal points here. You notice that the actual value itself is approaching roughly looks like 0.25 which means that around the value, the x value of 2, that means the y value itself is going to be close to uh, 0.25. Now, let's take a look at this algebraically. We are going to be looking at more of these type of examples later in this section. So here's the notation that you're going to use. We're going to say the limit of this function, x minus 2 over x squared minus 4, as x approaches 2, and so again, if you just plug the 2 in there right away, you're going to get undefined. So sometimes with these limits, you have to do some more algebraic manipulation in order to get it to work out. We're going to do that here. You can factor the bottom one difference of squares, and the x minus 2s, they're going to cancel. You get 1 over x plus 2 left over, and because we cancel out the x minus 2, if you were to put 2 directly into here, then we would get the exact value of one quarter. So what is a limit? A limit is actually a y value. It basically is saying what y value, this notation means what y value is this expression here approaching as x gets closer to two. So again, we approach that from both sides. The limit has to approach the same number from both sides in order for it to be defined. So if I had one going this way and I had one number and these are approaching a completely different number then I know the limit would not exist so it has to approach the same number from the left and from the right. If we were to take a look at the graph of this, the graph of this itself would be the graph of 1 over x plus 2 and then I'd have a hole there at the x value of 2. That's basically what the graph would look like. So if I have a hole that's going that way then when you have something like this you can find the y value from the left hand side and from the right hand side and basically it approaches whatever the y value would have been here if this would have been closed. So again, 2 itself we can't put in here because undefined. However, we can see what value it's going to come close to on both sides from the left and from the right.